Okay, here we go. A little poor lighting, but let's see. There's the design I'm doing. I know it's sideways, but that's how it is on my computer. And I take that design and I saved it, but apparently you send it up here at the top somewhere. There we go. It says send. And I send it to the either this one here, which is to the sewing machine directly, or send to sends it to the um, flash drive. And I had done it wrong. Anyways, and so you send that design over to here. Oh, or let's get here. Maybe I'll change it a little bit. And you can kind of see the crosshairs up in the corner, up here, and they're going to stitch along. You can follow it along as it stitches, and there's the colors it's going to use, and then over here, it is working away, stitching on it, and then it stops and beeps and tells me when to cut the thread, or not cut it, but it cuts its own thread. It tells me when to change the color, I should say. There's a lot more to it than that, but that's just the basics of how it works. I'll back up so you can kind of see it all. And there it is working away. And there it is on the computer. And I just basically can do anything. I can create designs from scratch or there's a whole bunch of designs loaded in here. I don't know if we can find them. Loading here. Well, yeah, I thought it was. Well, anyways, I think it's because it's in the middle of the program. There, it just cut the thread. I don't know if you heard that or not. And off it goes, stitching again. And it just keeps stitching around each letter. We already were just doing the green around the outsides of them. And it's kind of base, and then it goes and overlaps it. That's how it gives it this texture. And I can choose any one of these textures I want. I can go in here and if I go back to this design over here. Oh, there it goes. It's finally loading all these designs I mentioned. Huh. We'll close that. I can go to these designs. These over here go to letters. Click on the Book font organizer, it's opening. And there's your letters. You choose the type of letter you want. You hit next. I have the types of filling I want to do. I hit my options and I'm gonna get this in here and put moving it around. So you can do any one of these. It would do this as a fill for this in between here, in between these le uh, the letters, the purple part you see, and there is a whole slew of different types. I chose a very small one that's on there because it won't show up on the larger. I think I chose back up. I think it's one of these up here, just a real tight little print otherwise uh, but all it does to create this is just stitch over top of itself and it creates these patterns um, like these hearts are just it's stitched here and then this is just stitched on top of each other just to make it bolder or more like an embossed look to it and there was even one that had like little babies crawling on it somewhere it's kind of cute yeah, right here, if you can see that or not. The little baby's crawling. But, again, those won't yet to do a larger something to fit those in. So, okay, it's been almost five minutes of time. I'll end it.